Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. There's a certain type of SBC that recently on this game, it just feels like EA has lost the plot with, guys. We used to be really excited about these types of SBCs dropping in FC24 all the time, and really... They're just not that good anymore. I want to enter into that conversation today because yesterday's content sparked that thought in my mind and also look forward to today's content on Monday. Well, EA released that 82 plus player pick that we all loved so much a couple of weeks ago. We'll talk about that in more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about that Sunday content that was moving some things. First of all, we did have an icon player pick, guys, and EA did not one but two things to make this one a little bit better. If you're a fan of icon player picks, which basically is most of us, this one's maybe worth the craft this week. It is more expensive, which you might not like, but it's actually, in my opinion, a better sign for the pack weight of this player pick. A one of three team of the year future star or ultimate birthday. They took away the winter wild cards finally. So you have less cards, less of a player pool to choose from. It's an 86, 87, and an 89 rated squad, making it come in around 250,000 coins. I'm a fan of this, honestly. This would be one that I would consider crafting this week because I, I haven't seen any of the polls yet. I haven't opened one myself. We'll open it. We'll craft it probably later on this week during the streams. Uh, but it just seems to maybe have a little bit better chance of a high-quality pull because of the lack of the player pool size, right? Smaller player pools, uh, better chances for those bigger pulls and the increased rating. So I'm not going to yap too much about that, uh, but it is 68% up voters. So I think a lot of the community is agreeing with the sentiment that this actually seems like one of the better icon player picks that we have had recently. And if you take a look at fodder, you can tell that people are going and doing these. It looks like at 88s are almost 10,000 coins after yesterday starting the day in the low 9k range. Looks like even some of them spiked up to 11k, maybe just O block, but some of those spiked. And even if you look at like 90s and 91s, those are slightly up as well. 21,000 coins for the 89s um, and for the 90s as well, about 21 to 22k. So kind of the 87 and above rated fodder moved up a little bit more on the market yesterday. And I think it really has to do because of this player pick. That was the most exciting piece of content yesterday on a Sunday. Now let's talk about some of the other SBCs that we had in terms of content. Yesterday, we had a ECL finals, champs finals uh, pack here. That's there. Uh, it was dropped. Scan the QR code. Those games start, I guess, uh, in two days on Wednesday for the E-Champions League finals leading up to the Champions League final, of course, this upcoming weekend. And we had the premium upgrades as well dropped, guys. Well, here's one of the two things that I have a problem with with content yesterday. The premium Serie A and Calcium a feminine players pack the same packs that we had during team of the year but here's the issue there are no women's or calcio a women's league um italian women's league players in packs for team of the season right now there's only the Serie A cards so that is why this upgrade pack is a little bit confusing right i mean yes if you're trying to pack Serie A tots cards this is an sbc that you might want to try and do but for turning in 11 rares and only having a chance at one league of team of the season inside these pack pulls instead of two like all the other weeks we have had this sbc with the men's and the women's league both in packs i think i was kind of hoping that this sbc would be premium Serie A and nwsl to give you that double dip chance like every single other week but unfortunately it is only Serie A. so I don't even know if I'm going to do too many premiums this week, guys. Maybe the 78 plus is the way to go. You only have to turn in three rares and three commons. Um, and if you're doing the crafting upgrade and even maybe combining this grind with whatever player picks are dropped today or the existing 81 plus player pick is the way to go instead of doing the premiums. If you're doing exchanges and getting a lot of non rares that way, that might be how you're able to fund the 78 doubles. So I need to try more of these. I need to try some premiums as well, but I've been hearing through the grapevine that the premium upgrades are not that good this week, which is, I mean, kind of makes sense, but also disappointing with some of the really, really nice Serie A team of the season cards that we have out. I think at least I was hoping for a chance to pack Pulisic or a chance to pack Jadud. And of course, you know, the highly obtainable, unobtainable players, but the ones that you shoot for, right? Leao, Teo Hernandez, and those others. So that's kind of the upgrade grind there. A bit quelched this week with that SBC not being as good. Now, before we talk about the last SBC that was dropped yesterday, let's talk about evolutions first, guys. We did have a new Evo yesterday, and it's kind of interesting. 
it does give a really solid stat boost but it's a hundred thousand coins and i still think that a lot of people are looking at this and like hmm it's maybe not just for me 87 rated overall max requirement 92 pace 80 physical 88 shooting you can go to a five star or no four star weak foot max and i think you get a skill move boost as a part of this you do get a skill move boost right so of course you can see here fernando torres is one of the most advertised icons through this and really if you find somebody with one play style plus like zola i tweeted this out yesterday if you haven't evolved a base zola icon card in your club he goes five skills for weak foot and with those playstyle pluses, Trivella, Technical, and Finesse, that's going to be a really, really cracked card. So, you know what? GG's for this SBC being released. He's got Tiki Taka and Whip Pass, Dead Ball as well. This would be a really, really fun card if that interests you. Um, this Fleming card, I think, if you still have her in the club, if you care about the NWSL links, she looks unbelievable. Every passing playstyle with Long Ball Plus, Technical, Trivells. Um, and those stats and a five star four star that looks like a really really insane card so there's some good ones that fit this i think it's zola and fernando torres that are kind of like the most hype ones actually if you take a look at fernando torres here on footbin uh, i mean look at those stats right he's got finesse plus on the base with technical and trivella added that's a really good card besides the passing right and of course his card and same thing with zola they are both extinct on the market right now. I didn't even really know that Alan St. Maximin fits this. How does he look um, after this Evo? ASM goes to 92 rated with Trickster, Trevels. Of course, he's five-star skill moves already, so it's not that big of a boost there. Technical, 98 pace and 95 dribbling with technical would be nice, but the other stats look maybe just a little bit behind the curve. You know, see, this is the type of Evo that I would like to be free, though, because you're giving a nice boost to whatever card you're going to put into it, but it honestly doesn't feel like it's going to be pushing the meta or the power curve that much, which is why I kind of wish that it was free, guys. The 100,000 coin price tag here is the biggest problem, but if there's somebody in your club that you want to evolve and get upgraded with these specific statistics, then by all means, go ahead and do it. Again, at this time of the year, it's all about the emotion, though, for these Evos, in my opinion. Maybe I'll do this Torres card, because he looks good. Actually, he does not have very many playstyles or playstyle pluses, and he only goes to 4-4. Four, four. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure who I'm going to do. I'm leaning towards Zola, because I've had this Zola here for a long time. This Joe Cole looks pretty good, but, yeah, guys, it's just, it's just an Evo that's not that amazing. It's good. But it's not that amazing, especially because of the price. If it was free, I think I'd be a lot more excited about it and willing to say that is a decent Evo, but it is not. Also, yesterday, we had the new Mixed League Team of the Season, Team 5, which we saw some of the leaks and we talked about yesterday. And guess who's extinct? It is Neymar. He is not on the market. 13.3 million coins. He is nowhere to be found. And the rest of this team, guys, this might be the worst of the mixed league team of the season that we have seen thus far. I mean, Icardi looks solid, looks fun to use, fun to try, but very expensive for day one, being as rare as he is. Koulibaly also looks fun to try, a little bit expensive. You know, Koulibaly's always cracked, he's always good, but we're a little disappointed, right? We're a little disappointed with the rest of this team because it's a lot of fodder is what it completely feels like to me. So, uh, we're not ending with a bang at all with the Mixed League Tots cards, but it is what it is. Those are more basically fodder cards, I guess, in, in packs that you could put into exchanges or craft into other SBCs. And that is team number five of the Mixed Leagues of Team of the Season. Now, let's talk about that last SBC, guys, because it was this Icon Player SBC yesterday. It was the card we expected, right? But this is the one that really made me think that EA has lost the plot with specifically Icon SBCs this year in this game we had the andrea pirlo let's cover the sbc first andrea pirlo sbc it's about 2.5 million coins with 292 rated squads as a part of this 19 sbc set for pirlo who is a good card it is a good card guys like you know technical and incisive pass plus with 99 passing and just the Pirlo vibes in game. I talked about it yesterday. Like I would be interested in trying out this card and using this card again after having a team of the year. Last year, Pirlo was really, really good, right? And he's 5'5", five, five, right? It looks good. The problem, though, is the price. 2.5 million coins for this card that was yesterday. 2 million coins on the market. And it is now 1.7 mil on the market after the SBC has come out. He was down even below 1.7 mil. I don't, I can't sit here and say that the price is just worth it for a straight up complete for this card, unless you're a fan of Pirlo and you need those Italian icon links. 
and it's kind of for like for fun for you, then that is the only reason to me why it is worth it. He will still be a great card. Like the card is very good, but it's not like a card that goes boom straight into my team that a lot of people are excited about. And that's what got me thinking, guys. The Icon of Species this year, we have had tons of them. And it does kind of revolve around how EA have structured icons. And I'll, I'll mention that. But Icon of Species just don't hit the same that they used to. Sure, you still get the same excitement of saying, wow, I was never able to pack Stoichkov when Foot Birthday was out. I'm a big fan of Stoichkov. I can now go craft his SBC, but it takes me 22 squads. And compared to his market value, his SBC is a lot more. The counter argument to that is, well, fodder is very obtainable and very cheap because of all the exchanges and the craft and the grind, the upgrade SBCs, and all the free objective packs and reward packs that they give at this time of year as well. Like, it is really, you can do any SBC on this game if you put some time into the menus without even spending money, which is, of course, what we're trying to do in this game is to play it in that way. Um, you don't have to spend money at all. You just got to spend a little bit more time grinding the exchanges, the upgrade packs, and the objectives to get those extra packs, and you can probably get the SBCs done, right? But again, it's taking the excitement, and really, if SBCs could have an aura, it's taking the aura away from these SBCs, guys. You want to show? I want to show you a throwback here. This is when Icon SBCs had aura, all right? Back in FIFA 18, which was the second year of SBCs ever in the Ultimate Team. I think I did three of the first four. Actually, you know what? I might have done all four of these. The first four Icon SBCs that came out during FIFA 18, they gave out Prime Del Piero in November, right? This is this is Prime Del Piero, right? This is back when there was the base, the mid, and the prime versions of the card. They gave out the best version of Del Piero in November. He was one point, uh, what was he? He was like 1.5 million coins, 1.4 mil. I don't know how much this SBC was then. I don't think we can go on the graphs back and look. Daily. Okay, it was a 1 million coin SBC on November 12th when he was dropped. And we just looked at his price, right? He was 1.4 to 1.5 mil. That's a card that I did and went boom straight into my team. And I used him for a long time because he was still meta for a long time. And it was such a good SBC for the time of the year that we were in. The price was good, right? That was a 400,000 coin discount off of his market value. This is when Icon SBCs hit, right? Um, same thing with this Luis Hernandez card. This is not a card, Luis Hernandez Prime, that I would think to use anymore. This SBC was 885k when he was first released. I think it was on the same date as uh, that Del Piero was. And how much was this card during that time frame? He was over a million coins, 1.2 mil. It's crazy. And I know the game is different, and especially the way that EA have structured icons now, the game it kind of has to be different, right? Because they put out base icon SBCs, um, and you know they're passed up by the power curve like this because EA is dropping different promos each and every year now, or each and every week that have new icons in them, or at least the earlier weeks earlier on this year, right? We have had Team of the Year icons, Future Stars. We've had the Golasso cards most recently, but we had older ones back on uh, earlier on in the year. It just, they don't hit the same as they used to, man, because these icons, especially right now, none of them have three play style pluses. There haven't been any uh, releases of icons, new ones in this game since the Golazo promo, which was before team of the season when the power curve moved up. So I think that's part of the issue right now. So I'm not hating on icons. I'm just saying, I think that right now icons are below the power curve and most of them. Now, there's still always a few that are elite. Like this Jarzinho with two play style plus is freaking elite. This Drogba, we know, right? Cafu, Roberto Carlos, still really, really good cards that a lot of us would enjoy uh, as SBCs. This Charlton, why does he not have an SBC? Like this Charlton needed to ha needs to have an SBC. He's a brand new icon this year. That would be one that would have a lot of hype. You see what I'm saying, guys? It just feels like there is a decent amount of chances for EA to put out good icons that we would actually want to craft that I don't think would really tear up and you know ruin the people's ultimate teams I mean maybe it is because EA have made all SBCs in terms of icon SBCs so craftable um, that they don't want to put out really good icons and they still want you to chase the ones that are in packs and all that sort of stuff right for them to try to make money but I just think that icon SBCs just don't hit like they used to, man. Like, they just don't. Like, we have so many of them, which is a dub. I love the quantity, right? But it feels like with the amount of icon species that we are getting with all the different types of icons this year and the way that EA are doing it, it feels like you lose out on a little bit of the quality. 
for some of them and you can't use them in your team as long as you were able to at one point and especially right now they're just kind of behind the curve so I wanted to talk about that today. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. What's the last Icon SBC that you have done that has gone into your team and actually stayed there for a hot minute that wasn't like an emotional player for you, right? I totally get it. If you're like, Nate, I'm a fan of Pirlo. I'm Italian. I freaking love the guy. Do the SBC. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've got one Icon SBC player in my team, and it's Zambrata, and that's because he is meta enough to play in this game right? He's meta enough. And other people would say, Nate, he's behind the curve. And I wouldn't 100% disagree. Uh, he is good, but he's not one of the best right backs in the game. He also helps me for chemistry. And that's still like the biggest thing that icons help with is the chemistry right now, especially during team of the season when a lot of us have multiple different leagues of cards trying to start in our starting 11. And you got to get chemistry for them somehow. So that's kind of my thought on Icon SBCs, guys, because I wanted to bring that up because I feel like, especially recently, they've been a bit of a downer. But let me know in the comments which ones you've been doing, which ones you've been enjoying. Uh, but again, bottom line is they are easy to craft. So if there's one that's fun that's there for you, I would say go ahead and do it. I just, again, I'm saying, and I think a lot of you guys would agree that it doesn't feel like many of the Icon SBCs that have been released are like, wow, type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? So... That's enough there, but I do want to talk about the market a bit, and I want to talk about today's content on Monday because Mondays are player pick days. We know this, right? Last week, we had the 81-plus player pick after the 82 two weeks ago, and we had the 85-plus player pick, right? We love the 85-plus player pick around here, and we also love the 82-plus pick, and I hope that this going away today brings back that beloved 82-plus player pick. My question is, what is the other player pick that's going to return as kind of a, maybe a little bit more upper tier one, right? We have two usually each week, and who's going to return? Is it going to be V, 82 plus, and the 84 plus like it was two weeks ago, or are they going to bring back the 85? I would be very happy if they brought back the 85. I also wouldn't mind if they would bring back the 80 or, or even increase the rating. Drop us an 86 plus player pick. Who says no? I don't think anybody would, right? That's just a bigger and better chance to pack a higher rated card. But I think Monday today is going to be pretty quiet. If I had to be honest, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of content. Recently, Mondays have been slow-ish in terms of most things. So I think that the player picks might be one of the biggest things we look forward to today. Um, and depending on which player picks we get, we might incorporate those into our upgrade pack grind. We'll talk about that in the video tomorrow. Now also, I mean, player SBCs, right? They're pretty consistent. They're dropping almost a player SBC every single day. But this is one, it's a leak technically, but it's one little piece of information that I wanna show you guys as I finish crafting this last upgrade pack here and then doing the three player picks really quickly. We had this leak from FIBA Trading Romania yesterday, and he said, if you think we've had great SBCs recently, which when it comes to team of the season players, we have, right? La Liga was fantastic for player SBCs. He says, just wait for ultimate tots week. I guess I should give some credit to Serie A team of the season as well, right? Renato Sanchez, Lookman, the SBCs have been good. He says, just wait for Ultimate Tots leak. So he's already got leaks. He's already got news about what's coming this coming Friday for Ultimate team of the season. Um, and that's, uh, that's interesting. He also says, I would say yes to keeping his big packs. That was a question asked above this. And he's saying yes to save your packs. So um, that's really interesting. So if he's saying saving packs, there must be some really, really big SBCs coming. Maybe that is going to turn the tide a little bit on some of the icon SBC situations that we were talking about today. I hope it does. Um, but we'll just have to see guys, because that, I mean, that kind of bodes well, to be honest with that leak there. But I do think, you know, I don't think we're going to see anything super crazy today, but I do think we will see some sort of player SBC whether it's from the NWSL or if it's from a mixed league of tots, um, I think we'll see something along those regards today. But I don't know what else we would get besides the player picks and that sort of SBC. Mondays have been pretty quiet recently. I think that'll continue to happen today. I do want to speak on the market a little bit more, though, guys, because, gosh, prices just continue to be absolutely in the bin. Like, I'm looking at, this is just a random card I'm looking at on flipping right now. Joao Felix. Joao Felix was 1.6 million coins on a Friday. How much is he right now? 1.2? 1.25. Man is down horrendous. Remember the Ramos that we looked at last night? He's back up a little bit, but still down. And then when I look at the Serie A cards, look at these cards that dropped from yesterday's prices, right? Leao is down a million. Giroud is down a bunch. Dybala is down a ton. Lautaro's under 2 million coins. 
Um, some of these cards, like Giroud, speaking of him, he's 594k. His minimum price is 500k, guys. Some of these cards, as we always say on Mondays, Mondays are not very good for team of the season cards. I think some of these cards will be dropping lower today. That is one thing I do want to mention. Um, the ones that dropped off a bunch, like it looks like Pulisic, yeah, he went from 500k down to, what was his lowest? 411. So he's already gone. He's already rebounded back up a little bit, so I won't be buying that. Um, but some of these are down a ton. Maybe they're worth a watch for a quick flip, but there's so many of these cards now. They're at minimum price, right? Uh, Pellegrini, Rabiot, uh, Vlahovic has to be freaking close. Di Lorenzo, Smalling, and Calafiori are all 50k minimum. And then again, like I showed you with Giroud, like keep an eye on some of these minimum prices because some of these cards have minimum prices that their current prices are close to. I think Osaman might be minimum. Yeah, Osaman's minimum price. This card for 300k is mad. It's literally mad. He's been dropping yesterday since content, but like that is a mad card for 300,000 coins. So bar any quick fluctuations that you maybe want to trade in and out of with some of these team of the seasons, it's not a bad time to, if you still have something tradable in your team, to probably get rid of it, guys, because I don't see them going up today. Mondays are not good days for the market. I think it's just because the content is slow. But if you look back to like La Liga Tots last week, those prices went down. I really don't think I would be holding on to much right now in this game when it comes to team of the season cards. We'll probably talk about that more as we head on down through the week, but it's really the preparation for ultimate team of the season as well, in my opinion, that is making some of these cards continue to drop along with the Serie A cards being so good as some of the lower tier ones at so cheap of prices. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the video tomorrow. Don't think we're going to get a stream up today just because it is a holiday here in the US and it has been one of the busiest weekends ever. Your boy needs some sleep. I'm going to go catch that right now. But if you enjoyed the video again, drop a thumbs up on it. I will see you in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the account and catch you guys there. Peace out.